This video is on one of my favorite rifle bags, coming up. So before we get into this, all the firearms that you will see are unloaded. There's no ammo in the area and uh, no magazines in the guns. Just in case you're wondering, they've all been safety checked. So I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, you're in the need or searching for something to carry some of your firearms in. This is one of my favorites right here. So the title of this listing on Amazon is the DS Leaf. Uh, I think it was the short barrel rifle case. It is 28 inches. So it's not gonna be fitting your full size rifles unless you break them down, but that's okay because it works perfect for my SBRs and bullpup rifles. It might even work with my FPC, my Smith & Wesson FPC. I don't remember if I've tried it, but I'm pretty sure it will work. Of course the FPC fits when it's folded, with it unfolded, it won't fit with the muzzle brake that I have on there, but if you didn't have the muzzle brake, it would most likely fit. So when selecting a rifle bag, one of the things that I usually prefer is to have backpack straps. I find backpack straps the most convenient way to transport because I usually have ammo cans in my hands. So throwing this on my back is very helpful. If I can actually get the backpack strap. It does have a waist strap as well. I'm trying to wrap it around my gun too, so it's coming up short. But if needed, it does have the waist strap as well. It does have a carry handle on the side. And if I remember correctly, it came with a shoulder strap. Uh, I'm not sure where that is. I don't use it. I don't keep it in the bag. So I probably threw it somewhere in my office. I'm not entirely sure. So here you can get a better view of the shoulder straps. They are removable. So if you didn't want to use them, you could take them off and they are very adjustable. The Waist strap, you could probably also take that off if you needed to. And they do have these little keepers on here on both sides. There's a, a pouch back here if you wanted to put something else in there or it's most, most likely just to tuck the uh, shoulder straps in there if you weren't using them because they have quick disconnects here. You could stick them in there if you wanted to. Uh, it's also got a handle up here I use this just to hang it on my wall. I don't typically carry it by this. It's just not convenient to grab a hold of. We got the side handle with a wrap here to connect them. Nothing fancy there. And onto the front side. We do have Molly up front so you can attach other things if you want to. And we got a couple of Velcro patches so that you can stick your uh, patches here or should I say the proper term would be hook and loop. This top pouch, we got a couple of pen slots. I keep a screwdriver in here. There's an additional pouch here and one back here. A uh, good place to keep hearing protection, eye protection, whatever else in here. And there is a mesh pouch on the front side. Uh, I have Extra spring for my CZ Brand 2. I think this is the suppressed spring, or it might be the stock, I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, laser bore sight. Then we have a big pouch on the front here. This would be perfect for like AR magazines or anything like that. I have my silencer shop mitts here, and I have some extra targets in here. And it does have like a draw cord right here. You could probably stick something underneath here or whatever you want. Then we got this pouch right here. Right now, I have my folder for my tax stamps in here. I keep uh, copies of my tax stamps with me because you never know what type of officer you might run into or how ignorant they are to the law. So this is a just in case thing. 
And then on the inside here, I do have them tabbed out so that it's quicker to reference. So feel free to steal this idea if you want. I used a smaller folder here and just folded each one of the copies of my tax stamps in half and put them in sleeves. And uh, the tabs make it quick and easy to get to them if I need to. Uh, I just took the image of the tax stamp, printed it out and put it on the front and on the edge for my reference and my OCD appreciates it. Uh, I do have an AR wrench in here this time. Uh, that's just in case I want to remove the suppressor off from my MDRX. So I wanted to make sure I had a way to do that. So the rest of the way that this pocket is set up, it has spots for magazines, which I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of because these are more for like pistol mags. And with this being primarily a rifle bag, yeah, you could stick some handguns in here and I have. It's more of a rifle bag, so I kind of feel like this was not the, the best idea right here. Uh, this should have been used more for like rifle mags rather than pistol mags. Granted, if you're carrying a PCC in here, then it would work for that. I, I'm not gonna complain about it that much, but it's one of my small gripes. Uh, we have two mesh pockets on the front here as well. This will hold two firearms. Or I guess that's what it's specifically made for. So on this half, we have my MDRX. This is the Micron setup. So it's got the 11.5 inch barrel makes a really short package uh, and you can see how long it is with the suppressor attached. It fits in this case just fine. Still a few inches to spare on the end there. It's got a pouch down here so you slide the stock in there and then you got straps to hold it in place. And then you have a padded separator here. On the other side, I have my 11.5 inch CZ Bren 2. Same thing, you got the two Velcro patches and the pouch down here to slide the buttstock into to help keep things secure. As you can see with the CZ Bren 2, this one's a little bit of a stretch, so it does push up on the top just a little bit but it still fits. And that's without my suppressor mounted. This is also an 11.5 inch barrel. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how long of a firearm you can fit in here. So I know this is about the bag and not the firearms, but I just wanted to show you something uh, real quick, kind of fun here. These are both 11.5 inch SBRs. And you can see the significant length difference between the two. Yes, that is a different brand suppressor. Might be, a, I think it's a little bit longer, but still you can see that there is a significant difference in length. If I were to line the two stocks up here, you can see how much difference there is this is an AR with a 12.5 inch barrel. This is the upper from Foxtrot Mike with a folding stock. It is not folded. And you can see that it just barely fits. This is an AR with a 14.5 inch barrel and a pin and welded muzzle brake. And you can see with it uh, completely assembled, it won't fit unless you break it in half. So the other thing that I really like about this rifle case is where I store it on my camper trailer. I tow a somewhat small fifth wheel with my Tacoma. So it's only like 21 feet and it's like 4,500 pounds. So storage is at a premium. What's nice about this bag is I can store it underneath the seat of my dinette. With my bigger rifle bags, I can't do that. So they end up just floating around the trailer, getting in my way and there's no good place to put them unless I take them out and like put it in the truck or something like that. 
But with this one, I can put it underneath the seat of my dinette. I have a hard-sided rifle case that is much thinner and you're not stacking rifles on top of each other making it fatter. That will slide behind my couch, but a soft-sided when I want to put more than one rifle in it, it's, it doesn't fit back there, it's just too tight. So this is perfect, this can go underneath the seat of my dinette. And so if you're interested in this case, there'll be an Amazon link in the description uh, if you need something to carry your SBRs, your bull pups, or if you want to take your AR in half, it'll do that as well. And I'm pretty sure it'll do just fine for a lot of PCCs out there. My CZ Scorpion fits in here with room to spare. And as we wrap this video up, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm a do-it-yourselfer for the most part. My videos are pretty random and all over the place. And if you don't like it, then don't subscribe. What can I say? But that's it for this video. We'll catch you on the next project. See ya.